Today I'm going to share our most insane vintage thrift finds of 2022. If you like thrifting and collecting unique vintage items, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also visit our Depop store to see all of our latest pickups. And don't forget to stick around to the very end to see the three must-have apps that we use every single day to buy, sell, and research our vintage tees. All right, we're going to start off with something nice and simple. We have this dead stock Austin Powers piece from the Gold Member movie with Beyonce. We've got Austin there in his classic purple and red pinstripe suit. This one's dated 2002 and we have Dr. E looking super sinister. Very interesting story, Mr. Powers. And the E is actually a nice little puff print, which is really nice. Nothing on the back, but a nice XL. Not quite a shirt, but I had to show this one anyway. It's a little Star Trek Next Generation bum bag or belt bag. This one's kind of busted up. It needs a little bit of TLC, but it's really cool with that holographic print. And I think it's a Romulan ship on the front, if I'm not mistaken. Speaking of Romulan, there's a slight link to this next shirt, this Eric Banner one. So in Star Trek, we had Eric Banner as one of the villains the Romulan villains Nero. We actually have the shirt there. But also another Eric Banner shirt as Chopper Reed. He's got two guns there and a big old shotgun stuffed down his jeans. And on the text here it says, Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Nice shirt, son. You like it? They make them for men. This one's not dated, unfortunately, but it has a nice top heavy medium tag, which is from around that 2000 to 2003 era. If you want to find more info about top heavy tags, you can visit Castle Door Select on Instagram and on their website. It has a bit of a tag history for a lot of the Australian tags like top heavy and Acme. Really, really nice piece with the boy banner. All right, the next one up is one of our favorite brands. It is the Mountain. We have this big baby chimpanzee here looking super contemplative. And look at that hair. I don't know if it's like a scene out of the Something About Mary. They did 1998 and the tag is all cotton and super thick, it almost feels like leather. And as you can see, someone named Teddy did own this one before. So shout out Teddy for the tea. So that one was a vintage 1998. And for your reference, a lot of the newer mountain ones just do have a screen printed tag. Check them out, they always have crazy tie dye animal prints. This one is probably the oldest pickup we've had year to date. This is an Adidas 1986 Commonwealth games track jacket with the big Australia hit on the back. Beautiful old Adidas tag, made in Australia actually. And it's a little bit small, it's size 14, but I believe the athletes wore these. So that's a really, really nice find. How can the nerves get to you? I mean, the intense concentration there must, must be a bit much if you start getting nervous. While we're on the sporting theme, we actually found this just two days ago. This is a 1996 vintage ARL Parramatta Eels jersey. So if you're not very good with sporting stuff like us, the logos of the actual codes and the teams change so frequently you always have to do a bit of a google search to find out when exactly these logos are from but you can find it straight away but yeah this one's from 1996 all right moving on to the music tees definitely our favorite category here we have a silver chair all over print young modern album promo so young modern was their fifth and final album they had that hit single this one's on a really nice Australian TSP tag. And a lot of the bands and concerts that I used to go to and Sarah used to go to in that sort of mid 2000 era did used to be printed on these TSP tags. So made in Australia. Not only was it their last album, but it would have been their last nationwide tour, the Great Across the Great Divide tour with Powderfinger as well. So it has a bit of a history to it. Did you have a favorite silver chair song? My brother used to call me Fat Boy a lot. So whatever one of the goes, one way to Fat Boy. <laughs> All right, this one we featured a few videos back. We'll put the link up here if you want to watch it. Elvis, Big Face T also on that Australian top heavy tag. Dated 1992 by Elvis Presley Enterprises and it's actually single stitch top and bottom which is really, really nice. The crazy thing about this is the blue is still so thick and caked on because it's never been washed. And if you look closely, there's little purple dots all over sort of give it a bit more depth and contrast which is crazy. Really, really like that one. It has that sort of pop art dot style graphic. RIP to the King. It's been 45 years since his death and there's actually a biopic movie coming out later this year by Baz Luhrmann about Elvis, so keep an eye out for that. All right, these last two were found on the same day and probably won't have a day as good as this for the rest of the year, but this one is a 1994-95 Rolling Stones Australia tour shirt. Now, the Rolling Stones are in Melbourne for their Voodoo Lounge tour, and the seven news cameras will take you live to the historic press conference tomorrow at six. We have the classic Tongue and lips logos with the different country flags as the tongues. What I like most about this tee is just the really simple colorway with the red and yellow and the chunky font on the front and back. This one's on a Brockham tag printed in Australia by Acme. And again, you can read more info on the different Australia tags on castledoorselect.com. But now let's get into the cracker, the best find of the year. And when I first found this t-shirt a couple of weeks ago, I almost had a heart attack and three weeks on, I'm still, uh, my heart's racing just thinking about it. You just don't find stuff like this on the Australian racks. This is Mace 
one of East Coast's best rappers. We got him in the white, all white outfit, looking studly. They did 1998 on that Toltex tag. It is dead stock, still with the original outlet uh, tag on there. This one, I don't think will ever leave the personal. I don't even know if I'm uh, willing to wear it out because this trumps all other t-shirts we have in the collection. Beats all of them by far. This puts the biggest smile on my face. When you showed me this shirt for the first time, I had no idea who it was yep. until you started showing me some songs. And I was like, I recognize this. Do you have a favorite song that you've listened to recently? Um, I like Welcome Back. Pretty most famous for being on Mo Money, Mo Problems. Now, who shot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the store? Absolutely crazy. All right, so now that we've shown off the items, let's get into the three apps that we use every single day. So the first app we're gonna talk about is Google Lens. For a shirt like this that we showed earlier with the logos changed so frequently, something like Google Lens will allow you to determine it immediately. So Google Lens is a free app and basically what you can do is take a photo of anything and it will do a Google image search of that image. So things like logos, action figures, and toys that you can't really determine what year they're from or what series they're from, Google Lens will really help you narrow that down instantly. App number two is Photo Room. Buying t-shirts can be very, very fun, but we also sell a lot of them as well. And if you're like us, we do flat lay photography, but the problem can be getting a perfect, crisp, white background. That's where Photo Room comes in. Some photo editing apps only allow you to remove the background of an image one at a time, but the benefit of Photo Room is you can batch them at 50 photos at a time. It's gonna save you a bunch of time editing and even more time getting the items up and sold. App number three is Gem. Now the beauty of Gem is that it pulls data from a bunch of different websites like eBay, Grailed, and even personal websites. So something like this May shirt, you're not gonna find many of them on eBay and that's where Gem comes in. We use it all the time to research our items and get a better understanding of how much it goes for and what kind of platforms it's listed on. And it's just really helpful because it pulls in so much data from so many websites. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more vintage content. And if you wanna see more awesome shirts, you can visit our store, Final Seasons Thrifts on Depop. Link in description. See ya.